baby. Is everything okay? Sorry, I was I was talking to the table whales and he almost died. Oh, that's what that was. You could hear me? Yeah. Are you are you a table whale? I'm inside of your head. Oh god, there's a table whale in my head! You know what occurs to me? Everything all at once, the entire universe worth of knowledge right now. Help. <laughs> What occurs to you, little brain? I, I really, we keep calling them table whales. Have we ever scanned one to find out what it actually oh, is? Oh, no, we haven't, have we? They probably have a name. <laughs> there's, there's probably a thing. How fun is this cool blue? I mean, I, I like it, but I, I feel like it must be like the worst room to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good. It's also quite a little bit dystopian with the sparking, yeah. flashing death unit in the corner. Flickering, flashing lightning oh, surges awesome. on the other side of the room. It does not feel like a good way <laughs> yeah, to go. No, about that's it. not bad. Well, this is fun to creep on the baby. That's not a good oh, sentence at all. I feel all. like the sand shark's getting pretty, pretty. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say that this again. This is a fun way to creep on the children. <laughs> oh. I have been reset in a lot of ways, okay? So give me right. give me some credit, some space, and some self-help books. Well, if you want space, you'll have to go uh, up, like very far up, like north. Oh, okay. Oh, God! <laughs> this is an escape pod there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, really, is there an escape pod that has rammed my head again? Why did you do that? <laughs> Well, I'm thinking before we go Operation Cyclone, Cyclops even, Cyclone would be much worse. Right. Actually, as I'm aware, we literally only have one signal left, and it's the final... Oh yeah, I guess it, we do, don't we? I really hope it's not the final one, actually, and they just they just it keep going. No. Everything just keeps going wrong, they just keep, like, disaster, they keep moving. I hope so. Like, I hope it, I hope it gets a little bit nicer each it's time. A little bit nicer each time. And then one time you'll find one that's, like, a mansion, and it's just, like, the temperature was two degrees off of... <laughs> yeah, they just get more and more picky and fancy and arbitrary with every, every sea base. The room. color of the mushrooms that grew on the base of the base were a little bit garish. <laughs> Let's go find Sea Mansion. Crash into the prawn. Crash into the prawn. Why? Crash into the prawn. Ah! Ah! <laughs> was that everything you hoped it would be in Ma? Yeah, that was pretty fun. Thank you. The prawn took damage. It did. Yeah, the sea moth is pretty fucking strong, isn't it? That's incredible. Do you think if we suicide bomb the, the sea moth into things, we could kill them? I don't think that's entirely supposed to be something you'd think about. Because, because obviously when you run into the fish, they actually do die. So like if you hit something hard enough, fast enough, surely you can kill it. Surely you'd want to rig it with like explosions. You don't want to die and you don't want to kill the sea moth. Though. Rig it with explosions, not explosives. Rig it with explosions. It's like some cool VFX. Mm. <laughs> Take out half the ocean. The stalker seems to want the sea moth. Oh no, it gave up. It's like, that's not what I'm after. What do you do? Like, he just holds his mouth open like, ah, I, I can just turn. I'm just gonna hold my mouth open like this. And if a fish comes into it, it's their <laughs> fault. Ah, no, I don't like that. I don't like seeing the aurora. I'm trying really hard not to be permanently mentally oh scarred God, by. Why? Why? Well, the bright side is that we're not going, we're not going that way. We're just not. You know, this this half of everything was a much nicer half of everything. Oh, table whale. Go scan a table okay, whale. Okay, I'll go scan a table whale. Assuming we can scan a table whale. They are they are fucking big. I have to assume you can. They're fucking big, though. Where do we think there are, like, eyes? Look at all the fish just hanging out reef under it. Reef back. That makes sense. Oh, actually, you know, now that I think about it, they literally have a reef on their back. Yeah, it does. Do you have do you have reef on back? Don't don't they? Oh, reef back leviathan. They're leviathan. I mean, I guess they are massive. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I guess leviathan is probably just a size classification. Reef back's lifespan slightly extend through many centuries. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, what it's saying there is, as they live longer, they get bigger. So in theory, does that mean that there might be like a really big one somewhere? Oh, that would be really cool. Like just like five times the size. Well, of especially because like they're not they're not threatening. They're just cool. <laughs> what did you say, like They're not threatening. They're just cool. cool. Look at that little fish doing barrel rolls and then and then landing on the ground. I think it got dizzy. Oh wow! Just down. Just very down. Just, just go down. I mean, the, so the they, last one was in a cave, but yeah, that, that is very So down. they went even deeper? Yeah, I guess they wanted deeper. Why? Maybe the, the, the big scary guy no go deep. Like Maybe he has a limit, so they just kept trying to go down. But then they found something else that was scary and went down again. Or maybe maybe their their thoughts were whatever fixes like the gun that stops them escaping is solved by going deeper. This feels like it's very 
Oh, I'm not sure if I can handle anything bad happening again. I just... So it's like right on underneath us? I guess just keep, like, yeah, keep going that way and maybe there'll be like an entrance or something. Or further down like this. Maybe we should just go to the planet's core. Can we just like go straight down forever? Just drill. Come out the other side? How go down? What is that? That looks like a giant cave crawler. Excuse me? If that thing is actually on legs, then that means it's an entirely safe journey to visit it. That is so, so interesting. And there's two of them. So it can't be a crazy thing if there's two. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely the uh, I think so. The logic. So I assume the Degassi has to be down here. Yeah, I think it's I think it's in here, but I want to go visit the big guy. Yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I would like to see them, but at the same time it means going deeper into this strange new place, and I have not recovered enough to have anything Well, this place is deeper than those things were. Yeah, I have realized this. Is that the base? I think that's the base. But I think this is the right spot. Yeah, this is definitely the right way to wow. get there. Wow. The hell is that? What? Or like a spider? It's like a spider in the shape of an octopus. It's like we can see its brain. It's got a yeah. It's got it's got a membrane. Look for eggs. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it sounds weird. He's got like a speaker system for a face. Oh no 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 no! We don't we don't do that. No, it's so much worse. Gross. What the hell? What in all of the seven sea hells? Was that? It's gone, and that's what really truly matters. It was like a curiosity, and then the second I got out the seam of, it became uh -huh. horror incarnate. <laughs> Why are you here now? Oh, it just doesn't stop. Nothing stops. It never ends. Everywhere we go, and everything that it's we do screwed. involves something new and horrific. It's Squidward's Revenge. I hate that film. Well, this is this is the debut. What happened to Gassy Peeps? I, I have one guess. Same. Do a coffee vending machine. Why don't you just a coffee machine? Why does it have to be a coffee Sorry, vending machine? Sorry, they moved down here, right? So they could get a coffee machine. <laughs> and they felt the need to be like, you know what? We need guys. We need a coffee machine. This is this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, there's a PDA in that locker. Oh yeah, okay. Malady, malady. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I love the idea of Bart being like, yo, please stop fighting and listen, we are sick. <laughs> I'm just picturing like 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 two guys just walking into like a political debate, just like, please stop fighting. Look at us, we're sick. What happened to them? The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her. Sorry, this woman had a sea glide and a knife, and she was like, "Ha ha, bring it!" That's that's me. That is you. That is literally you. Oh God, I've got an idea. What? We should go in through the open door. That's crazy, man. You know, you think it might work? No, I think you're too big. Uh, uh, I cannot believe I pulled that off. I really wish that you'd have your sea glide out just for the flashlight. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna take that to Leviathan sounds. <laughs> Well, I, I guess we know there's a leviathan. You know, a kraken. An alien kraken leviathan. Oh, what if we recognize the leviathan sounds? What if it sounds like the fucking pieces of... Yeah! Oh! Well, that's that's that one. It's hell shit! Does that mean they're in this area? That means they, they would have been at one point, I guess. I'm still workshopping the name, but I, I think it's a... It's reasonable. I think it's solid. Cyclops shield generator. Ooh. That sounds exciting. Fancy. Yes. Very fancy. Well, there's a layer below this, too. Is there any way down? Yeah, how do we... Just ladder, ladder, right behind you. Oh. This is why I wish you had your flashlight on. I would have seen that so much earlier if you just, just, just have it out and on. Stop telling me to have it out, okay? I will have it out when I want to have it out. Well, then we won't find ladders as easily. Orange tablet. Ooh, that's different. All right, so the question is... What should be our next objective? Maybe figure out what this is actually the tablet for? I mean, I guess, but how are we just gonna work that out? I mean, presumably we need another alien, like, structure, but we've 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 done a fair amount of exploring and not found anything else alien any. Well, maybe they're just, like, further in the direction that the tower was. Like, maybe if we go to where, the, like, the direction the tower was, but further that way, we'll find more alien stuff. Displays an orange light symbol represent an N. It may have a way to interact with compatible technologies. It's for the, it's for the N. This is the U, and that's the N. We need to find the F. And then, and then SpongeBob will be happy. <laughs> and then SpongeBob will be happy. 
then we can summon SpongeBob. And if he's here on an ocean planet, we're protected. Yeah, no, then we're absolutely fine because he'll find the bikini bottom and he'll get down to the bikini bottom of this. No one can cure alien disease like SpongeBob bacteria pants. Nuclear waste disposal, sick. Well, it's, you know, it's good to have one of them. I guess you'll, I guess you'll, you'll probably want that before you make a nuclear reactor. You never know when you might want to dispose some nuclear waste. Imagine making the nuclear reactor before you have that and, and not realizing. I just imagine like juggling a nuclear rod, like, oh, 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 where do I put this? Oh God! Oh Jesus! It's going to the uh, ta table whale. I'm sorry. It's going into the table whale. Well, it's safer than the water because if it's in the water, it'll radiate the water. Okay, I'm gonna find out what it's called at least. Okay. The thing is, no matter how horrifying something is, if it's below a certain size, it's, yeah. it's, it's if you can see it, it's kind of manageable. Okay. Crab, Crab squid. squid. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 uh, let's, let's be you. cool. Really let's bad. be cool. <laughs> I'm behind you. What do you know? What? Did you just go? That's, that's a good way to interrupt a scan right there. <laughs> it's just leaving like that's it's weird. embarrassed. <laughs> My God, I can't believe this happened to me. Mm. I, think he, I think he just wants to mate with the sea moth. He does. He, he is approaching mountily. You know, it does. It does feel a bit. Yeah, like he is exposing the, the nether regions a little bit. Okay, well that outside of the crab squid. I want to see them though. I want you to go there. <laughs> oh, I'm not going deeper into there. Are you kidding me? You don't even have a beacon. We'll never even know where this is anymore because we just got rid of our only waypoint here. A, that means going deeper into a strange new area that could have anything but in it. But it's not a new area. That's where the ruby house is. What if they're not friendly? They look like they were walking on the ground. I don't think there is anything they could do that you cannot avoid. You know, you have got a poor record for telling me that something is safe and it turns out to be horrifically not. So I don't think so. I think there has been one thing that has turned out to be pretty dangerous so far. Everything else is pretty safe. <laughs> the last thing I would do is describe this game as pretty safe. And even then, the one thing that was dangerous, I think, was very evadable if you were if you were if you were less panicked, I think. Hey, what are you talking about? The Reaper the, the, the big big boy? No, you're also colossally wrong about the warpers. Yeah, I still don't think that they're I, they're a problem. Like they move you, that's it. They still haven't, like, hurt us in any meaningful way. They just, they just take us away from places. You and me have very different definitions of what it is to be hurt by these creatures. Yeah, I'm talking about your your physical b ability to live. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you, Heavy Eating a Sandwich from Team Fortress 2. You're welcome. That's not his voice. You're welcome. You're welcome. I am Heavy Weapons Guy. <laughs> this is the price of my, my minigun. Go, go scan, go scan, go scan. Where are you going? Go scan, scan. Okay, sorry, sir. Yes, sir. I'll scan. We can, we can be out there for two minutes, or we can be out there for ten minutes. There's no silver, sir. What do you want to do now? Check us. Well, the silver, the silver comes from the different, the different chunk deposits. Do we have a different chunk deposit? Sandstone. Shale. The sand. I think it was it's either shale or sandstone. I think sandstone. Yeah. You're not very char, sir. Well, I know that one of them is silver, and I'm not a, not sir. I, I just I just don't want to just go on a wild goose chase for no you reason. You love chasing wild geese, don't you lie? There's a difference between chasing wild geese and going on a wild goose chase. One of them is an event. <laughs> have you ever gone on a wild goose chase while chasing wild geese? Well, yeah, I mean, they are like, you have to chase wild geese if you're at a wild goose chase. But you can chase wild geese without it being an event, and therefore it's a much less constricting experience. Well, you don't want your geese chasing to be a constricting experience. Unless you're constricting the geese. Yeah, because then the geese are chasing you. Depends how you feel about constricting geese. Well, I'm not a snake. How many snakes do you know? One? Huh. It's yours. I have two snakes! Which one do you know? I've, I've only I've only met one. <laughs> like the, 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 I love the term met. Like, well, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> like, this is my snake. G good day. How, how nice to meet you. <laughs> That's what I mean by C. It's my close snake friend. It's your close snake friend. We get on really well, me and you, our snake. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> your snake. Your snake. Lead. Lead. A lead. It's always yeah, lead. Yeah, getting into thing trouble. Is, this, this scanner thing is really solid, isn't it? Right? It's a great little, little contraption. I swear it literally spawns more every time you get one. It does feel like that, doesn't it? This is pretty fast. We're, we might actually make this sub, like, kind of quickly. Which leaves three less. So we'll get... We'll do the glass. Because we can do the glass. Because we can ask this to look for stalker did we not? Did we not have the ability to pick up lead while we were getting the silver? And then you were just like, oh, lead. Yes, but that's because we have, like, loads of lead. 
in like loads okay. of yes, yeah, so look loads of lead. Yeah, we've we've got six lead. Which is, you know, three more than we need. We're not gonna overstuff on lead. Yeah, why would we why would we ever want things for future projects? <laughs> Look, I think at some point we should move base and make something really nice and elaborate in a cool location. I think that's, I think that's on okay, the. Okay, well, one, I agree. Two, why did you say that so aggressively? Like I'd been disagreeing with you about that for the last ten minutes. <laughs> Look, man, we really need to have this out because I'm sick of it. Okay. I've been I've been advertising we need more bases for ages. <laughs> well, why have you been advertising? I'm right here. You could just talk to me. Well, you don't listen to me when I talk to you, so I just thought I'd try a new method. Man, stop trying to get through all that salvage. This is such a nice way to uh, to get stalker teeth. Find the titanium. Also salvage, because look at all the salvage they had. Oh, we were going to build a base in the entrance of Boneland, weren't we? Which is, yeah. needs, need, really does need context. Boneland. <laughs> it's Boneland. We have a new business venture. We have a new radio message. Please don't be a creepy alien message. I don't think you're going to hear anything but those for the rest of this game. One time. Oh. Oh! I feel like we should have gotten this a long time ago. 1,300 meters away? Yeah, that's a, that's, a bit past safe, that's a bit past safe depth, I would say. And why are they bleeding oxygen? They should bleed they... blood! <laughs> well, what do, you, what do you think is in your blood? Blood. It's water and oxygen and, like, gooey stuff. And blood. Well, I mean, it's not in your- blood isn't in your blood. Why are you ignoring all the blood? Blood isn't in your blood, it is your blood. Wow, that's so deep, man. We'll put that in there, put that in there. There we go, and then we want to go get a load of quartz. If only we had some way to do that. <laughs> it was a weird kind of like, kiss laugh. <laughs> it's me, Dr. Kissels. Doc Dr. Kissels? My great plan! <laughs> you wouldn't understand it, but it's great! Kissel, <laughs> Kissel sounds like Cupid is upgrading to the modern age and, and getting some, some advanced artillery. <laughs> now launching the Kissels! <laughs> yes, yes, they're all kissing each other! <laughs> Kissels of Maybe. mass destruction! <laughs> they're also kissing the ground. Maybe we need to be more... more oh, specific. no, I missed, I missed a huge opportunity there. <clears throat> Let me rewind. Kissels of mass seduction! There we go, I did it. Oh, nice. Thanks, thanks, that's pretty cool. I did that first time, thought of it first time. I miss the camels, I want to know what they are. I miss the camels! You sound so like her. I was gonna see undersea camels, and now they're gone. They look, they look like nice little splotchy funky guys, and, and, and uh, funky guys Funky guys are never aggressive. I feel like you can't call them splotchy funky guys. So I just, I'm just sad that we didn't see them. What is happening? Uh, poison. Oh, okay, cool. What the? F what the hell? Oh my what god, the? So many. Oh my god, run! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? That the was scanner has, The scanner has brought you to hell. Are you okay, buddy? I know over there oh, is, is really scary, but no, his eyes are closed. I think he's. Just, oh, they're not. No, closed. they're not closed. Hey, stab it. I'm not gonna stab it. I feel stab bad it, about stab the it, one stab that stab I stab it, stab I'm it. not gonna stab it. Stop encouraging me to violence. I, I just, I just like being your intrusive thoughts sometimes. <laughs> How do I fit another Stop one? Stop taking his metal salvage. You won't kill him, but you will steal his his treasure. Emotional pain is oft better than physical. For who? For Dr. Kissels! <laughs> oh, Dr. Kissels, back in. <laughs> He's all about emotional pain. Oh, get excited! Oh. This is it! I wish we could make a Dewclops, but a Cyclops is gonna be real cool. Build... Did you say a Dewclops? A Dewclops. Why do I get the feeling that we probably don't want it to land on the base. Uh, I mean, what do you mean land? It's not necessarily gonna like just sink forever. Because it builds it in the air and then it, and it plops in the water, doesn't it? I'm sure it'll be fine. I think it'd be the best way to do it, honestly. All right. Here we go. Vehicles. Oh, this feels like a big moment. Oh, do I press it? Is it time? Do it. Oh, what if it's not as good as we want it to be? I don't know what to do. It's Cyclops like time! Three plasteel ingots, enameled glass, lubricant, advanced wiring kit, lead. These were the ingredients to make the perfect little girls. All right, here we go! That's, that's bigger than the big shit. <laughs> oh my god. What is it so much? It's like a, it's I like thought a it was so much! Oh my god! It's bigger than a table whale. Why is it so fucking big? <laughs> Like you, like maybe three times the sea. Oh my god, the, the fucking the fucking cockpit 
live three times this e-moth. Are you kidding me? Wow. I want to see the inside. This got to be a, this. This is our new base. I feel like we don't need a base anymore because we'll just okay, have. Okay, I'm gonna thing. go see what this the the message we conveniently got as we built a cyclops is. It's probably about the cyclops. I mean, it's gonna be just some alien threatening, isn't it? Like, oh, I heard you got a cyclops now. Well, don't bring it over here. We'll kill you. New targets unaccounted for. One. Why does that feel like that is squarely us? Note that the voice had a very metallic sound to it. Is that a Yeah, screen? I think that's the warpers. It's just a peeper on the floor of your escape pod. Why has he just got his eyes closed? Like, nah, this isn't happening. This isn't real. This I think is it, I think it's dead. I think you had that in your inventory at one point and just took it out. Be free, little peepo. Aww. Okay, I guess it's a lot. Did you just like, did it accidentally come in with you? I don't know. That's so strange. Why like do lots. I feel like the unaccounted target is, like is literally us? And now they're oh, going to hype up yeah. their aggression. Well, I don't know if they'll hype up their aggression, but you definitely are the, the, the unaccounted for. No one's... I love that they don't care. They, they just don't care about the laws of, like, real of matter. What is what is happening? It's a, really, it's a really cool 3D effect in this bedroom. Like my man Bart would say, yo, it's sick. It's, we're sick. We're sick. Everything on this planet is sick. It's so sick. All right, shall we see what the Cyclops is all about? I am genuinely yeah. so blown away. So, I'm, Did I'm you think it would be this, anywhere I'm, near the size? But I'm interested in how we're going to power this thing, because that's not going to dock at our vehicle bay. Wow. I feel like this is just our new base. Like, the, Is that all storage? It's all storage. It's all storage. All walls of storage. <gasps> all storage all the time. Lower deck two? What is this? Is that like a... <gasps> is that a th it says launch bay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go, 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 go. Faster, Vroom. faster. Does it come with a moon pool? I think it might. <laughs> oh my god. You can take it. The prawn is now has a home. Oh my god, where the hell are we? Oh, they could put us like in the upper well, there's bit. A, there's a label up there. Yeah, you brought a decoy launcher. So that's where you put your decoys. Oh, I see. And they're the things that we learned, the creature decoys. Yeah. So I don't, I assume that's the engine, but I, I wanted to go in like order. There's a bunch of upgrades there. Yeah, there was an upgrade spot. Yeah, down, down we go. And that's the prawn room, I think. So I think we were basically going in order. Oh yeah, look at that. Prawn house. So that's where you come in. That's where, I assume you can also put a seam off there. I assume not both, though, based on the way that it's snugly fit. Surely this has to be nigh impervious. I have to imagine so. How can you manage this if it takes damage? I don't know. Well, I'm worried about the power. So is, like, I'm really worried so, about the power. So is this the engine? 1,500 health. Health and energy. So it has health, then. It also is using energy. How do we get it more energy? Power cell. Three pa Okay, three power cells. Is there three on the other side, too? Because I feel like three is too little for how big this thing is. Yeah, yep. six power cells. So we we need the fucking power cell recharging thing. Cyclops fire suppression system. Cyclops docking best. That'll repair your vehicles. Oh, we can sonar on the Cyclops. Yeah, so we want that. Um, I think we really need the uh, power module. cell recharger now, though. Cyclops engine efficiency module. I feel like we want that. Seems that seems useful, yeah. Yeah, that'll also Cyclops help. shield generator. Sure. Okay. I mean, most of the ingredients for this, I feel like, are around the sort of blood achievable. trench slash bone area. Which we could bring the prawn to using the cyclops. And we did want to build a base there. So maybe we use the cyclops to yeah. take the prawn there? Yeah, this seems, this seems pretty set. I feel like we've just finished the tutorial. It does feel like, and now we can play <laughs> the game. Yeah, you close that hatch. Wow. wow! Like a proper battle room. So that's the lights on and off. Oh, you can go oh, dark. Oh, it's so much easier to see. I assume that helps you, like you know, that oh, classic in like little, like little, horror little, movies or radar. deep sea stuff when they're like, turn off all power, shut down the lights, silent running. Maybe it won't notice us. It feels like that kind of. You can change the color there. Oh yeah, there we go. And give it a name. Okay, what should we call our? Uh... Submarine. The semen, but like C is in like looking. I hate that so much. It's a cyclops. It's all about the big eye. Power up the engine. I love the voice. So this is this is a process. Like this is a full process. If you if you, I don't like wow. how much power we were using before we even started the engine. That that part. So what is this? Level. Speed amount, I guess. Slow. Yeah. So speed levels. Emergency speed. Okay. Emerge. Yeah. So I assume that uses a lot. 
do we think there is a like solar charging self charging module? I feel like we want the Cyclops energy efficiency module as soon as possible. Probably. I feel like more importantly, we just want the power cell recharge. Yeah, but there isn't. I think we just. Oh yeah, we need to make a power cell reach. This is actually a proper yeah. reason to actually make that now. Yeah, this this is the one. I feel like more than anything. Do you think you can? Especially if you can put it in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I feel like I feel like you might well be able. Oh, to... you can build in the Cyclops yep, in go. Dog Row. You can. You can build in the yep. Cyclops. This, this I assume. Is, this is... Specifically, this can just, just be a here, mobile base, so it's not like the most space in the world. But I think there's a little more in the cockpit, like that. I think any of those like black. Like, oh yeah, yeah, these little are, black are, like, areas. areas. Okay. So we could just get power cell chargers and never have to think about them again. Maybe. Yeah. Before we set off, then I think what we should do is make the computer chip part of that and mm -hmm. make a power cell charger. That seems. Do we want it on the sub? I guess we do want it on the sub. It feels like it makes the most sense. Is that way you can always just cycle some out within the sub? I have to assume it's going to be quite slow. I doubt it's the most graceful of creatures. Also the pro. I mean, I feel like it's got to have some speed on it, honestly. like this. Thing oh, is look fancy. at that beauty. Oh, yeah. For God's sea. sake! <laughs> the sea, man. You are a child. It's the sea, man. You are an absolute child. It's, there's so many levels to this humor, though. Oh, my God. This thing is so unwieldy, man. That looks it pretty weird. Nothing. I mean, I like that because it means there's still it's a fast, real purpose though. for the Seamoth. I mean, especially when you get to these open areas, I feel like it's not unspeedy by any means. Wow. Okay, this feels like you're in you're in command, you know? I feel like the table whale's big, but it might just be the perspective of the, the Cyclops view. Is this this is the trench, right? It's got here quite quickly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it's pretty good in the open spaces. It's just these areas there, it's obviously a okay. bit rougher. Okay, let's not. Hey look, it's a warper. God, I love Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> Euro Sub Simulator. We can't really, like, look down. Yeah, I think you need to be more focused on your actual indicator than you do looking down, honestly. We're not, like, taking damage, though. God, it does not turn well. <laughs> okay, it's not the slowest thing, but it's definitely not quicker than the Seamoth. Faster though. than the Prawn, slower than the Seamoth can carry the Prawn. Yeah. I love that it can carry the prawn. That like that's so good. It makes the prawn like you can just deploy the prawn, do stuff, hop back in, yeah. and then just use actual like not having to stick to the floor anymore. What do we think the first depth module is going to take it to? I assume nine hundred. I have no idea what the scaling will be like when it's not three hundred base. It could be a thousand. Could... Yeah. What if it just goes like three thousand? That's the first one. Sorry. How deep does I this mean, game go? I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a thousand and then fifteen hundred, and then. The prawn is like can go as deep as the game goes. Is, is there base? Above? I think the escape pod. The escape pod. Did you turn the engine off? Oh no, I forgot to turn the engine off. You know, you're gonna do this every time, aren't you? I mean, look at our battery already, and we've done barely anything. I just think the worst situation to be in would be running out of power in this thing. It's charging the power cell via the power cells that are in it. I hope that's more efficient than less efficient. <laughs> that's a really good point. Yeah, I've just realized. <laughs> I really hope that that's not a, an unfair exchange. Yeah, I'm not, not really, I didn't really think that through, did we? Oh, look at us. We just keep thinking of things. We're rubbish at packing, you know? We'd never we'd never get to the airport on time. Oh, Cyclops engine efficient. We found one. Oh, we just one. already have one? We should probably go through our stuff and make sure we don't have anything else sitting around for the Cyclops. Yeah, that's a really good point. All right, now we can go on this journey. Mm. Now that we uh, have gone through the painstaking requirements of crafting the engine efficiency module that we totally didn't have the whole time in our lockers. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. No, I, th I, th I think that you just are trying to avoid going as long as possible. Oh no, I'm really excited to go down there and start building a new base. What? Why would I not? What's... Now I'm feeling like you know something I don't. Well, it's just an area that we haven't explored a large amount. Oh, What's something's that? come up. Is that maybe our marker? I think it's the eel. I think it's the eel. It's it's only moving when we get closer to it. It's in front of us as well. God, you gotta really manually do everything. Bit of a tight area. Why did we go through this? Yeah, I think the eel's trying to kill us. That's so mean. Oh, that's so cool. So it's just a short-term burst of safety then. We're a we're a bit of a tight spot right now. I just want to get through this little gap. I think the problem is that it's a little gap. What is its issue? Just go through. I think the fact that there's something both above and below you right now constricting is you. Is it really that bad? 
I think you're a bit Austin Powers right now, if I'll be honest with you, from what I've been looking at. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, ah. so you see, you're, you're, ah. a little bit, you're a little bit lodged, I would say. How do we fix this? Can you just go back? <laughs> this is so dumb! Yeah, I feel like that's not, that's not a turning arc that's going to function here. Well, I'm trying my best, all right? There's not like there's much I can do. I, I think you genuinely need to go back, not not like try and. T I can't go back. Okay. Reverse isn't doing anything. Well, yeah, now now because you've turned to the left, I feel like you now have just gotten like actually this stuck. This is so dumb. Oh my god, <laughs> we lose the cyclops because it gets like. Well, you just it's just been piloted into a tiny area. But this is the way to get to where we're trying to get to. Well, we might not be able to get there with this thing then if it's this small. What do we do? Well, we just can't bring this here. We'll have to, like, use the prod. Yeah, but it means we have to make a new Cyclops. Can it not get it? Can you not get it out in any way? No, that's the that's the issue. That's why this is so silly. It literally can't move the thing. This shouldn't be possible. I was so excited to start a new little adventure. Oh. Oh, we've got motion. Okay, okay. There we go. All right. Get in places. That was just the worst. God, I really thought we'd got it, like, irreparably stuck. I was pretty concerned for a moment. I think we, uh, try and approach from an alternate direction. Okay, I think we're much higher up than we were last time, I see. Yeah, we are. We're just above. I mean, we can see the ribcage, so we're in the same general area. Yeah, I feel like this, even... like, maybe over there or on here yeah. and then connect it to over here. Well, I mean, you don't want it too close to anything because then it blocks your expansion route. So I feel like it's just be like oh, the middle of the Oh, there is table coral here. Oh, of course there is. Wow. That's just kind of everything. Yeah, I feel like this is like an intended base position. It does kind of feel like of it, doesn't it? And the openness. Like if we build it like maybe here-ish? I feel like what you should stop this? trying to go Oh, wow, there's the huge titanium yeah. nodes that's here? What, that's, what, that's what I thought. I swear we saw that last time we were here. That was what I was thinking that. We could build something massive. I'm so glad we brought the prawn. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we should be less rooted to the ground if you want to make it a nice big base. Yeah, maybe we just make that the center. Why are you trying to put it on land? We're underwater. Just put it in the middle of the big open area. <laughs> I guess that's true, but I want it to look nice against the terrain, you know, with a nice bone view. <laughs> I don't care what it looks like against the terrain. Nobody else is going to look at this place. I care what it looks like from the inside. Feel like we're gaining power? Question mark. Yeah, I think so, and it's not really in use. Without the energy efficient module, though, this would have been a disaster. Yeah. Like, how much power do we have now? 63. Yeah, we're about hovering we at that kind of level. Yeah. 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 All right then, ladies and gentlemen, we have managed to get this monstrosity of a submarine to uh, into a cave. Into a cave. <laughs> Will we ever get it out? Who the fuck knows? So we could actually make a new little uh, home base here. Maybe make a new yeah. seam off, honestly. Maybe. Oh no, we can't because it needs to be made on the vehicle platform on the surface, doesn't it? We Otherwise, it would just instantly it crush depth, blow up because we can't make it with the depth modules. In. Yeah, I guess so. So we might have to go retrieve that, or maybe use it to find that other beacon. In any case, lots to see, lots to do, lots to have fun with. For now, and a big old Hulkin Cyclops to live inside of. Like you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again. A good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.